Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. Today we're going to be going over an advanced topic only because it is coincident with the 3D viewer that we did yesterday and I saw something where I wanted to showcase it. This is blind and buried vias. So let's take a look at what these actually are to start with. This is what a blind and buried vias look like. These are advanced topics because most of the time you actually don't, most of the time you're just going to be using a through hole via like you show here, right? The drill comes down, goes all the way through the board and as they plate the pl process, they plate the entire thing. A buried via and a blind via are more complicated because you need to drill during different parts of the, the board making process, and then you have to plate that at a diff different process as well. And what ulti ultimately ends up happening is this can be a very expensive, a much more expensive uh, uh, processing method, right? So you're moving quickly out of the, the low cost manufacturing, and you need to start doing higher cost manufacturing. However, because I want to show that KiCad is a you know, capable of being a professional level tool, I thought I'd show this capability. Now, most of the time, you're going to be using this when you're doing, you know, very, very dense stuff, like a BGA, very densely packed BGA, you might need to do this, or other similar parts where you're just, you're on such a dense board, you just don't have any other options. So you need to be able to run multiple traces through an area, and specifically, if you have a via, you can't, you know, when a via is going all the way through the board, it blocks everything else. So now you need to make sure that it doesn't do that. So let's take a look at... Uh, how we do this in KiCad. So this is the board that we went from two layers to four layers. So I'm going to turn two and four on. And then another thing I need to do is I need to actually go into the setup and then in the design rules, and I need to actually enable blind and buried vias. This is not actually a default thing here. Uh, okay, so that's enabled. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to open up the 3D viewer like we did last time. And I'm going to actually turn on, this is actually what um, inspired me is I'm going to make sure that the show board body is turned off. And what this allows us to do is actually see inside the board. This is what we're going to ultimately be doing here. So this is, so here we go. Now we can see the different layers in here. You can kind of see those are through vias, right? So that's, this is actually a, a through hole component, right? That's this sim very similar to a via process. It's plated at the end. This is done with a drill. It's plated at the end as well. But this is a via. This is actually a through hole uh, component that's on the board here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a trace from here. I'm going to start on the top side. So this is from uh, the red layer. And I'm going to right click. Instead of hitting V like I normally do, there is a hotkey, but I'm having trouble getting it. I need to actually go and adjust my hotkeys. And I'll show that in a different video. But I'm going to right click and do uh, blind buried via. And then from here, I'm going to just hit 2, which is my hotkey for the inner second layer. And I'm going to stop drawing here. And I'll hit B to redraw the, the line here. It doesn't look like it did it, but we'll see how it looks. Did it draw it? I'm not sure it did. No, that's the wrong one. OK. So this actually drew a through hole via. Now, I had thought that I did that, but let's try again here. Let's go from the second layer. We'll hit right click, blind buried via. And now you see it does, it looks different as well, right? You see it's yellow and red. And so we'll go back up to the top layer and double click to finish. Now we should see, yes, yeah, so now we see this is a, a via that only went through this, from the first layer to the second layer. So if we look at this again, that is a blind via. Right, so what's happening is basically now we'd be able to put another trace underneath on the, on the third layer or the fourth layer right underneath where that, where that through hole via normally would be. Okay, so now let's go and draw what I want to have as a blind via. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start from the same point on the second layer, and then I'm going to do right click, blind buried via, and I'm going to go to layer three, double click, and finish. Okay, so now we have two vias. These should both be, this one should be blind, this one should be buried. Let's take a look at the 3D model, and it's not showing that. So now, this is actually something I ran into, and I wanted to show this as well. Uh, it's basically down to the layer pairs that you have set up, but what we can do is we can actually go into the, the via itself, mouse over it, hit E, select the via, and now we can actually select from which, which start layer and end layer we want to have. So we're going to start from the power layer, and go to the ground layer. Hit OK. You see now that the colors change. It goes from red and yellow to peach and yellow. And we should now see there is a blind, that is a blind via now. So again, this is a through hole via, or through via. 
This is a blind via. Sorry, this is a, I'm already getting the better. Yeah, so sorry. The, the, this one is a blind via, and then this one is a buried via. Like I said, this is going to be a much, much more expensive process, and uh, you definitely don't need it unless you're doing high density stuff. But I thought because we were going over the 3D board stuff, and because I figured out the, you know, how to show the vias here, I thought that was a very interesting look at what is a not common process. So in KiteCAD 5.0, when you do need to do bl blind buried vias, it is possible. So if you are doing uh, you know, very complicated boards, this might be a good tool for you. It's probably you know, needs some tweaking. Like I said, we'll be going over some of the hotkey management stuff in future videos. I think that's actually really important. And that's how I speed up my workflow a lot. Hopefully you can as well. If you want to learn more about how to improve your workflow, then we do this kind of stuff at Contextual Electronics all the time. And uh, we definitely go over hotkeys. That is one of my favorite parts of KiCad. Uh, so yes, go over to contextualelectronics.com if you want to sign up or take some of the free courses. We also have a free forum if you want to discuss general electronics, like why would you even want to be using BGA parts or high density parts in the first place. We don't actually do that very much in KiCad, or sorry, in Contextual Electronics. We you know stick more to the simple stuff. If you want to talk about KiCad and why blind and very vias are implemented the way they are, you can go over to the forum. That's forum.kicad.info. There's lots of great discussion happening there every single day. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll have more videos coming up in a bit.